Down on Korea's southernmost Jeju Island at the 11th Jeju Forum kicked off on this Thursday. Korean born UN Secretary General Pan Ki moon opened the ceremony with a keynote speech. He had a strong message for North Korea and expressed hopes to see more cooperation in the Asian region. Our Kwon Soa files this report from Jeju. The Jeju Forum for Peace and Prosperity is currently underway on South Korea's southernmost island of Jeju. And the Korean Peninsula is one of the places where peace is needed the most, as the two Koreas remain divided with North Korea's nuclear and missile threats not showing signs of stopping anytime soon. That's why UN Secretary General Pan Ki moon took the opportunity during his keynote speech at the event on Thursday to call on Pyongyang to end its provocations and fulfill its international obligations. The DPRK's pursuit of nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles only undermines its own security and hurts its own citizens. Military spending remains high while children are wanting, are wasting. Human rights are systematically abused. The authorities of the DPRK must correct these wrongs. We must find a path back to dialogue. Pan also expressed hope for greater cooperation in Asia, calling it a powerful continent that's critical to securing prosperity and security across the globe. He also said he wished that a seventh trilateral summit between South Korea, China and Japan would be held as soon as possible. In line with this, a group of former prime ministers from Japan, Malaysia, Singapore, New Zealand and Italy shared their views on Asia's leadership as well as the challenges ahead for South Korea. Should tensions escalate in the Korean Peninsula or between the U.S. and China? The ROK will be caught in between. How can the ROK avoid such a scenario? And can the ROK be solely dependent on the U.S. security umbrella, important as it is? These are important questions that the ROK leadership, both present and future, will have to think about. Now, the UN Secretary General will have to think about whether he wants to become part of that leadership, as rumors of him running for the presidency of South Korea have been filling the air in Jeju. Pan has left the island for the G7 summit in Japan, but many will be fixated on his every move when he's back in Korea over the weekend, searching for clues to his political future. Kwon Soa, Arirang News, Jeju.